You may have heard the term Holy Week. That's a term many churches use to describe the week between Palm Sunday and Easter, the last week just before Easter. It's also the last week of Lent, though it's the 40 days leading up to Easter, that many churches use to recognize and focus on the 40 days Jesus spent in the wilderness resisting temptation. And that's the reason many Christians will give up something for Lent. Now, that's not to earn credit in heaven or anything like that. No, it's about our own spiritual lives. If, for example, I give up chocolate, which is really difficult, every time I think about getting a chocolate bar, that reminds me about what Jesus did. It connects me again with Jesus in a different way. Or even better, if I say I'm going to try to give up returning nasty comments with nastier comments. That certainly brings my spiritual life to a new level and makes the world a tad bit better. Well, Holy Week begins with Palm Sunday. That's the Sunday in which we remember Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. Many churches on Tuesday remember Jesus chasing the money lenders and the merchants out of the temple. Jesus' point was, this is to be a house of prayer, not a marketplace. Thursday is called Maundy Thursday. And now there's nothing secretive or anything about that word. It simply means commandment because it was on Thursday that Jesus said, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you. Then comes Good Friday, the day upon which Jesus was crucified, and that raises questions about whether why we would call it good. Well, the real reason is that's an old use of the term. In the past, good frequently meant holy or pious. And then comes Saturday, Holy Saturday, the bleakest day in the Christian year, because that's the day in which the original disciples wondered, were depressed, thought Jesus was never coming back. And of course, then that takes us right into Easter. The day we remember that hope did return to the world, that love is the way, that God's love for us is what matters. I'll be posting other videos about the various days of the week. Please like our page and message us so that we can make sure you get copies of those videos too. Please join us at St. Joseph's for all our Holy Week services and walk the path Jesus took from acclamation to crucifixion to resurrection. For more information, please visit our website at www.stjosephsmcdonough.org.